Important note about mid-journey negative prompting, or in other words, telling mid-journey what you don't want in the image is this. The more clear you are about what you do want in the image, the less you need to tell mid-journey what you don't want. And if you don't do a good job of telling mid-journey what you do want and only give a bunch of things you don't want, the image turns out to be quite weird. The reason is because when you tell mid-journey what you don't want, what is it doing? It's taking those words, those key words of what you don't want and looking at its own database and disregarding all of the images in the database that have those words as keywords or tags of those images. So you're basically disregarding possibly millions of images to be considered in the creation of your image, which then makes Midjourney have a very small database and it uh, may come out really weird. So let me go ahead and show you on the screen what I mean. Uh, as I said in the other video above, I was trying to play around with what if I can create a beach I just tell me journey beach, but I don't want sand or water or da, 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 da. Okay. So let me show you what happens when I do that. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen right now. All right. So what you can see on the screen is when I said, I just want a beach. This is what I do want, right? What I do want. And I, that's all I said, just a beach. But then this is the negative prompt, right? Remember, you can add in various ideas. It could even be multiple uh, it doesn't even just be one word. It could be uh, two words, three words, or whatever. But then you you separate additional things you don't want with commas, right? That, that I don't want all of these things. You know, definitely don't want them. Negative point nine nine nine, and look what it comes out as. I'll just show you. I'll just look, kind of look look more closely here. What is that? I, I don't understand why the, why these three things have to do with beach. My guess is that maybe Midjourney, given that I disregarded so many things. It, it's pulling from certain modern works of art, maybe art artworks that somehow have the beach, the, the the keyword beach tagged to it in some weird way. Maybe it's maybe the artist's name is Beach or whatever. I don't know. Uh, and, and this is the only one that's that's hinting at a beach. It, it looks like a beach without guess what? Without any sand, red. It ha does have blue, right? This is kind of gray, blue ish. It didn't do a great job there, but it was doing its very best. Uh, I also tried it again over here without commas, just sand, red, blue, Cal's Beach buildings. Um, it didn't do as good of a job because you can see blue here, blue here. Uh, again, these are not beaches, but maybe some kind of artists or some other collection with tag with the word beach in it for some reason. So not a good idea. All right. Well, how do you do it right? As I said, if you add in more of what you want, describe that more clearly, and then uh, so, so I want to thank Mara and Gregory. Um, you know, Gregory uh, Vahanian and Mara kind of collaborated on this idea together. Uh, so this is the prompt: California gravel beach sunset. That's four words instead of my one word of just beach, right? So it, it's pulling from much more of the database because it's got four words and then the no sand. Remember, the negative prompt can either be the fancy way that I do it, which is, you know, double, sorry, double colon at the end with negative 999, negative 0.999, or it can simply be dash, dash, no, and then whatever, whatever you don't want uh, separated by commas. The only uh, drawback of dash, 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 dash no is that it's essentially a negative 0.5. So it only decreases the, 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 the possibility of it by 50%, whereas I'm decreasing the possibility here by 99.9%. Uh, but however, like I said, if you describe what you want really well, okay, or better, then it will do its then it will do a pretty good job of of taking out what you don't want, even just with the no command instead of the fancy way that I do it. There's a little bit of sand here, but it's mostly uh, beachless sand, right? So good job on uh, on doing this, Mara and Gregory, and I hope this is helpful for everybody watching this. Thanks.